Uh oh. What have I done? Welcome back, Troglodytes, to your daily dose of guitar information, the Troglies Guitar Show. It's new guitar day. I went crazy and I bought four brand new guitars from Musician's Friend. But, you know, there's kind of a funny story behind this. I used to buy all my stuff from Sweetwater. I briefly went to uh, the Melody Music Shop, but sometimes they just don't have the selection I need. But Musician's Friend, one of their employees, actually came to me and said, hey, we're gonna treat you better than you've ever been treated by any other dealer. Come to the dark side. <laughs> So the guy's really friendly. We kind of worked out a cool deal and it worked out great because this is a new series from Fender. And I thought, hey, why don't we check some of these things out and have an unbiased review? I am not a Fender dealer, so I have no obligations to not tell you all the good and the bad. So let's go ahead and start with unboxing number one. And I guess you could also see this as like a musician's friend review. I think first off, their double boxing technique, I don't like it as much as Sweetwater so far because I hate side loader boxes. So I don't know if I'll end up reusing these. And there's, you know, in my opinion, way too much dead space within this box. So this really does move around in shipment and really it doesn't have much more protection than just a single box. I guess you could say, well, at least it is double boxed, but if it's being jostled around a little bit more than if it was just a single box, you know, maybe it's actually doing more harm than good. Because you'll notice one of them actually came not double boxed. <laughs> I think that was the most expensive guitar of the bunch. Let's keep opening these things up and see what our first one is. Oh, that looks familiar to uh, an unboxing episode that I've already recorded, but you guys haven't seen yet. <laughs> so it looks like Fender is using some sort of a, uh, a styrofoam insert now instead of those. I think they used to use a black piece of foam. But then again, I'm pretty new to Fender stuff here, so always correct me if I'm wrong. I'm learning. But our first guitar here has the nice TSA latches. You've got a locking one. I mean, these are pretty nice cases. But I think they've been using them for a few years now. Oh, it's the Texas T Telecaster. All right, so all of these are going to come from the American Ultra series. So if you wanted me to review some Ultra guitars, you're going to get some Ultra reviews. So I've never actually purchased a brand new Fender before. Not to my knowledge anyways. I've had so many guitars, sometimes I forget. But I know Gibsons have that very distinct scent to them. This one, it also has a scent, but it's not vanilla like a Gibson. Oh, do you guys see this right now? I just got a glimpse of this Texas tea finish. How when you get it in the light, it turns kind of a golden color. That's awesome. And Texas tea, just in case you're not familiar, I guess that's a fancy way of saying like oil. So thinking of this like an oil finish, I think this all makes sense. I really enjoyed this one because of the uh, the anodized silver pick guard. I think it worked well with the finish. So first impressions here, as I was saying, the scent, it smells like a brand new guitar, but it kind of smells like uh, just styrofoam. I think that's the best way to put it, like fresh styrofoam. And we've got the uh, comfort carve on the side of a telly, and we've got the whole new neck joint where it kind of bevels in here, and then you've got it there. That that looks kind of strange in person, especially from this angle. And I guess if we're being honest, I mean, yes, you can get everything, but it's still kind of uncomfortable simply because of the neck plate itself, because that almost sticks out too much. I wonder if they could take that and make it smoother so it kind of just rounds off to the side of the instrument, because as of right now, I mean, it's not, I'm not saying it's sharp, but it still will scratch you a little bit. So I guess that's a little something I would complain about. But this is a brand new 2019 Fender Ultra Telecaster. That looks pretty cool. So that was a Telecaster. Let's go ahead and open the one that's just a single box here. So I actually bought these on two separate occasions. Where I bought two that I kind of told you guys about when I did the overview video for the Fender Ultra series. But then, you know, Musician's Friend was just trying to give me such good deals, you know, probably just to, you the know, purchases flowing and whatnot, that I went through and bought two more. 
This one's a tight fit. It doesn't want to come out. There we go. Oh, that's a little concerning. Do you see that? A TSA latch that undid itself. That's one thing I like about the TSA latches is you just open them by pushing this little button down here, but it'd be kind of easy for something else to also do that. I guess that's why you would potentially lock one of those if you were using this for like a serious plane travel or something. What ultra sleeps in this case? <laughs> okay, so I'm extremely excited about this Jazz Master because I have never owned a Jazz Master before. So this is my first time touching one, experiencing one. Honestly, this is like one of the first offset Fender guitars I actually had in my hands. I had somebody bring one of those offset Telecasters at one point in time, so I guess you could say that would be kind of a similar guitar. But this thing's got the same thing going on. The extra comfort cut here and kind of that beveled edge in there. I would say it's almost a little bit more sparkly than I was anticipating. I was kind of hoping for something a little bit more subtle. But at the same time, I guess it's similar to what I was expecting. I could see how some people would hate this finish once they see it in person. I feel bad to say it, but I think it does look better in photos. But I definitely can't wait to plug this bad boy in, because I've heard good things about Jazz Masters. We'll have to figure out if I like them or not, though. But if I like them, I'm scared I'll probably start buying a bunch of vintage ones then. <laughs> so if we have a Telecaster and a Jazz Master, what could possibly be in these boxes? Leave your guess down in the comment section below, and we'll get started opening this one. This is something else that scares me about these boxes, musicians, friend. This is how it arrived to me. I mean, it's practically open. That's why I'm always scared and I use a bunch of tape whenever I ship stuff out because one single strand on a side loader like this, it just scares me. But we'll go ahead and get this thing out. I guess another kind of funny story that I can tell you while I'm unboxing this one is the musician's friend representative that reached out to me. You know, besides him just being a fan of the show, he was actually on vacation the week after he recruited me, so he had one of his buddies help me out. So he kind of picked a bad week to go on vacation, but his friend said he was still giving him the commissions for the sales. So hopefully that was true. But something else that I'm kind of liking about them is it actually appears that they watch my show instead of just saying that they do. I get that quite a bit when it comes to uh, dealers. And I can tell if they watch my show because, you know, they'll do references that I've done, like talk about a recent episode I've uploaded. They were trying, they were trying their best to sell me one of those bat Les Pauls. It's like, well, that is an attractive price. And they said it was the last one and they only had one more coming in sometime in like November. But to be honest, the wiring episode didn't do that well. So I was like, yeah, probably not worth the risk. So what is in here? You know, I, I apologize for getting Texas T again on another guitar. I think it would have been more fun if I would have got like the metallic white finish or something. But this Stratocaster, it is just as stunning, if not more stunning in person than it is in the photos. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but Texas T, I believe that's a new finish for Fender and dang, I think they're going to sell a bunch of these things. I love that Fender logo on this one. I guess that's something new that they've done here. They've made them gold. Apparently the old Elite series were silver, something like that. Some people were wishing that they would have done like a black background so it'd stand out more. Yeah, I, I could see how that might be a thing. But this thing, oh, beautiful. The whole anodized aluminum pick guards, they're kind of growing on me. At first when I had them on that one Stratocaster from the Rarity series, I was like, it feels a little bit weird, but I like the way that they don't scratch and you just kind of get used to the feeling of them. Looks like somebody stole my protective film off my neck pickup. What's that about? But here's the ever so glorious Stratocaster in Texas T finish. I love it. And I think the reason why I love it, because since these are all very, you know, sparkly guitars, this one kind of hides it and makes it look more like oil in the light, like they were kind of going for. I can't tell if I like the neck though. It feels like a satin finish here, but I think they also did the satin finish on the neck. 
It doesn't quite feel like that rarity Stratocaster though. Now, as I said, I haven't really been into Fender guitars for very long, but you know, now that I've got the ball rolling, I <laughs> am buying too many Fender guitars. <laughs> and then there was one. This was something I wasn't sure if I should buy it or not, because people tend to not appreciate my reviews of this type of guitar, but I don't care. It looks so beautiful, I had to get it. And just in case you're new to the channel and you're confused what's going on here, I buy guitars to review them on my channel here, and then after I'm done reviewing them, I sell them as used instruments. You see, this one was packed a little bit more properly. I wonder if somebody's just slacking on their job and not actually packing these the way musician's friend wants them to be packed when they're double boxed. Wait, wait, whoa. Excuse me? Where's my original Fender box? That's a little bit disappointing. That seems a, a little bit shady. <laughs> I don't get my original Fender box on a brand new guitar. I guess that would explain why there was more packaging in that one. So we've had Stratocaster, Telecaster, and Jazzmaster. That must mean we have the Stratocaster with the humbucker in the bridge, right? Because I'm a guitar review channel, right? Six string guitars. I'm sorry guys, I couldn't help myself. I had to buy this jazz bass. It was just too beautiful. Once again, Texas T finish. I'm not even apologizing at this point. It's such a beautiful finish. I was a little bit worried if it was gonna look as good in person as it did in the photos. It definitely exceeds expectations. But this matching with the bound neck, the black inlays here with the anodized pick guard, it, it's so beautiful. If there was ever a jazz bass to own, it was this one. So while no, I'm not necessarily a bassist and people usually hate on my bass videos saying, oh, you can't even play the bass. Why are you reviewing it? And I can at least give you guys a in-depth look at this bass because apparently it uses two batteries and can run as active or passive. So that'll be interesting to check out to say the least. And to be honest, I think this is the highest end bass that I've, you know, ever really felt. I had a different bass from the Trey Tuesday season one, but I think this one would technically rate higher than that. And I like the fact that they have this little control layout thing on here. So it doesn't always have to be on there, but it helps me explain you guys some stuff. So you can switch it from passive to active. So I can't wait to check these things out in in-depth review demo style. And here's the part where I tell you, these are not Fender Friday episodes. I'm going to work to get them out because they're the brand new hot thing right now, right? So I got to get these listed for sale. So if you're interested in any of these guitars for a slight discount off of the new price, I mean, you could definitely contact me about those now, but I won't be able to ship them out until after the reviews are done. So thank you Troglodytes for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed getting to take a look at these Fender Ultra guitars and hopefully enjoy the reviews on them. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow on the next one. Take care.